Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I missed you guys. It's been a while uh, since I've done a beer review. Uh, we got a beer mile package from uh, Jeremiah from Hot Butcher for the World. Uh, it's like a big Christmas present uh, to me. Uh, been happy to spend my money on other things this month, guys. So uh, it's that time of the season. So uh, I haven't been able to other than my go-to beers uh, in the fridge uh, to get across town to uh, pick up some tasty stuff. So uh, after the first year, hopefully I'll be able to make that venture over there. Being old and living on Social Security has its limitations sometimes. So anyway, glad to see everybody. I uh, hope everybody's ready for Santa Claus. So uh, he's coming in a couple of days. So uh, this beer here is from Hot Butcher, of course. Uh, uh, this is their synth wave and it's a fairly low ABV beer uh, it's a six percenter here um, with uh, New Zealand Cascade and Rewaka Hop and Phantasm American Pale Ale six percenter said it was put in the package on 11-2 of 2-1 big 16 ounce plain Jane heat shrunk label on the can uh, very colorful artwork that uh, that uh, Dan does uh, for these guys. Uh, I mean, he's a pretty talented fellow there, and uh, all the cans are rather colorful usually, and uh, very eye-catching. Uh, I know I would. Uh, well, of course, y'all know this from the hot butcher beers I reviewed already. Uh, kind of partial to this beer because they don't make any bad stuff. I mean, it's incredible products coming from this. Uh, this brewery right now so uh, if you can get your hands on anything that these guys do you won't be disappointed so anyway uh, all New Zealand hops in, in this this beer here so uh, and it's a pale ale so I'm expecting a very hoppy pale ale so let's uh, uh, jump over it's right below my go-to range starting at seven percent but uh, if it's a damn tasty beer I, I would probably bend that rule uh, to get a very nice pleasant beer especially a New England style beer uh, uh, around here so uh, the commercial description is the same thing uh, it's written on the front of the can here on untapped uh, no IBUs are given uh, these guys uh, are up in the uh, uh, Illinois area so uh, don't know how far out they go, guys. I really don't have that information. I wish they'd come out this far. I mean, I know I'd be buying them. But anyway, it's a Plain James can with the heat shrunk label on it. We've got the ABV. We've got the can on date. Let's see what this pale ale is all about here, guys. So once again, thanks to Jeremiah. I do appreciate it, sir. It was a very nice, like I said earlier, uh, Christmas present. Early Christmas present from you guys to me. It's always like a Christmas present when I get a package from Jeremiah. <laughs> All right, very cloudy, very hazy. And uh, something on my glass. About two fingers of head on that porch. Very cloudy, very hazy, guys. I can see a little tiny bit of light through here, so close enough that a lot of breweries would consider that a New England style in appearance anyway uh, but it's not orange juice in the glass by no means uh, but still nice looking pale ale for sure to the nose we go yes very nice very hoppy nice citrusy oranges pineapple Maybe a hint of some tropical fruit notes in there. Very pleasant aroma. That's very nice smelling for a pale ale. It smells like an IPA, guys. It does. 
So uh, being a pale and not having the IBUs, I, you know, usually the pales are a little less IBUs than the IPAs. So let's find out. Here's everybody. Here's Jeremiah. Everybody at Hot Butcher. You rock. That's pleasant. That's that's a really really tasty beer, guys. For a pale ale, if you didn't know that, you'd swear by looking at it and tasting it, you were drinking an IPA. Not a lot of bitterness to it. Very smooth and easy drinking. Very very prominent, pleasant hop aroma. Hint of some spicy notes in there. Uh, what I'm reading, like I said, that uh, all these hops that are listed on this can here are New Zealand hops, Southern Hemisphere hops. So, uh, very well done, very nicely done. If you didn't know, you would think there would there are some uh, some Pacific Northwest hops in there, uh, especially when I've seen Cascade on the can, but it's a New Zealand Cascade, so, very nice, guys, uh, I would buy this beer if I could get it here, uh, it drinks like a, a very smooth IPA, a very low IBU IPA, so, uh, very nicely done, it's right out of the fridge, let's go sip on it, see what we got. Alright guys, I'm back, been sipping on a while, very, very nice lacing the fuck on the glass. It's a quality beer, guys. It's a pale ale, though. I mean, a lot of people, especially if you're used to drinking IPAs, you might think this is a little weak. I don't. I mean, it is what it says it is, guys. It's a 6 percenter, which is a lower ABV, and it's not going to have the same characteristics usually not always I mean it's hard to classify everything always or never I mean it's but uh, some people may think it's not quite up to what an A beer would be and I disagree with that so uh, for a pale ale a six percent with the hop aroma and taste that I'm drinking I think it's very very pleasant and like I said I, I would buy this beer it's a, a very nice, if you wanted something with a little less alcohol than a 7, 8, 9 percent it would be. I don't joke. I think it's very nicely done. And an all New Zealand hot beer, very pleasant, very tasty, very enjoyable. I did enjoy this. And like I said, I would buy it, even though it's a 6 percenter. It's got more than enough taste uh, for me. So, 90 for me, guys. A minus. Uh, and it's evidently a new release because Beer Advocate didn't have a grade on it. Uh, people have commented on it. Imagine that. And Untapped has it at 3.95, and 813 people have commented on it. So, like I said, uh, it didn't even get, that's their B plus range. Uh, so uh, it didn't even get into the A category there. I think it's an A category beer, guys. I mean, I've had a lot of pale ales that didn't have this hot presence to it. So I guess it all depends on what uh, taste uh, that you're after in your beer. Because beer tastes is like wine tastes. It's very subjective and what your poor your palate is and what you're used to drinking and what you like to drink. So with that being said, uh, I enjoyed it. So, if you see it and, and you'd like a hoppy pale ale, this fits the bill. There's no doubt about it. So, this is Synth Wave, S Y N T H W A V E, from Hot Butcher for the World. And uh, Untapped is calling a New England style. I, I'd go, yeah, borderline, probably so compared to some other ones, but some of them they do are a, a whole lot more in, into the orange juice looking super cloudy not quite super cloudy I would say hazy to, in my in my book very hazy so if you've had it let me know what you think till we meet again let's go see what's in your fridge better be good Santa Claus is coming <laughs>